our final sale so <laughs> and then I got a pair of track it shorts so my face also um unrelated uh wow you would think I don't take care of my skin I am so so good to my skin and this is how it pays me and just so you know the flow vitamins are not working two months in not working I'm gonna see if they have some sort of like money back guarantee because I would like my money back <laughs> get a notification but this morning I went into my TikTok shop seller account and I have an order so I'm so excited. I think I've been selling these for two or three days now and this is my first sale on it so and second sale ever <laughs> even like Etsy combined. So I'm excited. I'm gonna to hopefully because I'm praying I have an hour left with him sleeping that I could do an ASMR packing video so I need to speed this up. It's the color I ordered, it just doesn't, it looks different. But let's start with the track and shorts. So these are high waisted. If you guys saw, I got a Poshmark order of what I thought was going to be high rise black blue women shorts, and they were definitely low rise. So this one I went, just went to the website um, and got it because I'm like, this is the only way I can tell for sure it's going to be high rise and I can return these. And they are high rise, yes. Okay. I just kidding, let's not do this one first because I don't have a brawl on because this is a brawl so if I took my robe off I would just be flashing you and this would no longer be able to go with my <laughs> so I bought a line a one shoulder sports bra which already is risky um, and then a line shorts in the color of bone now I expect it to be like a creamy white and it's definitely a gray toned white which honestly bone sounds like it should be a gray toned white so I should be I'm a size 8 in a top, and I'm usually a size 4 to 6 in bottoms, but with shorts, they didn't have any 6s, and so I went up to an 8. I think it will be okay though, because they're shorts. I know the pants would not be, so I'm hoping that works because these are lighter colors, so they're double lined, so sometimes to me they feel a little tighter anyways. Um, I'm going to put these on off camera. No. Okay, the shorts fit. They're eight inches. I thought they were the six inch. I do like the eight inch. I just don't know. I am not someone that does, like I wouldn't go out in public with like this out, my tummy. Um, so why did I buy a one shoulder sports roll? Because like how practical is this? Unless you're gonna wear them together out. I maybe can train myself to be okay going out like this. I just feel wrong. <laughs> Um, maybe if I tie something around my waist, like a sweatshirt, and then it wouldn't really be out. This, sports, this feels really nice. It actually doesn't feel like it would come down. I think I might actually be able to work out in this. But then what tank top do you wear with it? Because all my tank tops are like more like coming in, and so like this would be out. I don't know. I don't even think I'm allowed working out in this. I think this might, I work out at YMCA. I'm pretty sure you have to have a top on and this is not considered a top. So again, um, was this a dumb purchase? It might have been, it might have been. It is cute though, but it's not the most flattering thing I've worn. Like you can see every temple. Um, like I like this, I like this size. I actually like with the double line. I think the eight's good. I think if it were a double line, I for sure wouldn't like it, but it feels good. Leave me in the comments what you think, because this is really weird. I don't know what to do. Um, let's put on now the shorts. I got 
like these in a size 8 also because shorts like I said they just run smaller I never thought I would see the day where I said I wish they were shorter but I wish they were one inch shorter the hottie hot high rise short and four inches would be perfect and that was sold out and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna try to return all of this so I hope they let me because I want the hot hot shorts I'll just wait for them um, I don't have any black shorts other than my spandex so that's why I wanted these <sighs> fail fail let's get rolling on the packing now he's serious he just crawled out of that you are naughty half a pound let's see how much she ended up being are you kidding me i did it again i'm exactly half a pound off oh my god i'm gonna have to go back in and change my settings this is annoying <laughs> i should have done a pre-trial <laughs> that's honestly this is on me should have done a pre-trial Lindsay's order is off to the post office already. It dropped off, scanned in, no issues with the scan. I forgot to tell you guys, I mentioned earlier, probably in this vlog, I'll go ahead and make sure it's in this vlog, that I sold a dress on Poshmark. And the first time this has ever happened, I got an email from it. So I got the email saying it was tracking, it had started, um, and then I got an email right after saying, it was from Poshmark saying, that they had to cancel the order because either it was overweight, which that doesn't make sense because it was a dress and Poshmark sets that limit. It was definitely not overweight. Or uh, I had mispackaged it, which also was not true because it was just a normal package. Or it was that they couldn't find the address to send to the buyer which I guess that's probable, but the package has not came back yet. So I don't know what happened. I guess that's something we'll find out if it returns to me or not. Um, but anyways, they canceled the order. So, and they took it off my like whole Poshmark. So I don't have it on there anymore to resell, which is a little annoying. Uh, so yeah, I will not be getting that $10. <laughs> And I may not get the dress back, but we'll we'll find out. And anyways, what was I saying? Why did I mention? Oh, because oh, because I mentioned like I was wondering at first, is it because I used a pink mailing label? Like, is that a rule that I didn't know about? Um, and it's not, because I was at the post office. And one second, <laughs> and I asked the lady who was helping me if it was a problem. She's like, no, it's not. And she scanned it. She's like, it scans fine. Um, so I don't think that it couldn't have been it. All right, so that package is off. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous because of glass, and I think I did everything I could to protect it. I apologize. The video quality of that order is not going to be ideal because I had you at a weird angle. I had TikTok at a better angle, but I had my shirt off, so I, that, that's why I had both of you guys at weird angles because I just could not have me in it. I was just so hot. Um, and I was wearing this a sweater and it's very cozy and soft inside so and I was in front of a window that was like beaming the sun on me 
but that's why it's gonna be weird. I didn't get great content when I was, I just uploaded my TikTok. It's on YouTube Shorts too, so you can see it. Um, but I feel like I did better on YouTube as far as filming more, because I film way more with my memory card. That's enough rambling, wow. I did go to CVS because I don't lose chapsticks. Max loses my chap, orange kitty loses my chapsticks. I always have at least two in the house and it has to be cherry chapstick. I am very specific and I am missing both of them. So my lips are feeling awful. I have a different thing on them. Like yes, there's other things in the world and I have plenty of other chapsticks but they're not my cherry chapstick. And I've used cherry chapstick since I was in third grade and so it's been, well, I was nine in third grade, and I'm 33, so that's like 20, two, four, 24 years. It's 24 years of that exposed on my lips, and that's the only thing I want now. And so I had to go to CVS, and while I was there, I picked up three chapsticks, of course, the trio. That's a five dollars and like 79 cents now that used to be a dollar a chapstick i get this for 2.98 they doubled that over doubled that and i don't know if part of that's because i'm at cvs probably but still that's a lot of money and then i also picked up some pimple patches because these are driving me crazy so once i take a shower i'm gonna pop these guys on and hopefully tomorrow this is looking a little more manageable while I was in there, there's another girl in there and she had these on her face already and she was buying more. So I'm like, I might as well get these, that's what she uses. And of course, they never have, no one ever has this. My town and the surrounding towns are always out of this. I thought they were being discontinued. They still might be, I don't know. But it's the Francia Refresher Strawberry Rosé and it's the 90 calorie version. This tastes like juice. It's not very strong, um, but I just love the taste of it. And so I picked it up because I saw it. And that's all I have for you today. I did, oh, I did drop off my Lemon uh, track it shorts up tracker. Whatever, I dropped the black shorts off. Unfortunately, as suspected, or not so suspected, because I really did think that I had an email saying that members could return final sale things. Um, but as the title implies, it was final sale, and I do have to keep the white outfit. And I am feeling so-so about it. It's cute, I'll just have to wear it to make it worth it. It was less than one pair of aligned pants, if that makes me feel any better. It was on clearance, so I did get a good deal. The top is very comfy. I just need to deal with the asymmetry, but I bought it knowing it was asymmetrical. So again, um, I am to blame per usual. So maybe tomorrow you'll see me in my new outfit. <laughs> Love you so much. We're gonna go shower now. Goodbye. It's a new day. My hair is beautiful. And I haven't taken these off yet because I didn't know how long I was supposed to keep them on, so I just slept in them. But they stayed on. My coffee just turned off, so we're gonna go put <coughs> that in my mug. And I just got new pumpkin whipped cream that I've been putting on top of my coffee. It's so good. Oh, let's make it. We're in the let's throw everything off the back of the couch phase, so that's fun. Poor coaster. Back from the gym, baby is sleeping. He just went to sleep, it took a really long time. Um, my face, I did shower already, just not my hair. So we're doing the same thing I did yesterday because I have another cup order. So I'm gonna package the, I think I just have one in stock left and I have more that I'll end up making and I'll film it. But um, I'm gonna pack that up. 
I don't know, I might do just do another ASMR with it. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of what I want to do for TikToks. I don't want it to be too repetitive. I'll just do it because I like ASMR on here to do segments between me talking. I am drinking out of mine currently. My green juice is in here. I, since having, I feel like before having a baby, I might have been annoyed that like it was hand wash only. But once you're a mom and you have to hand wash a lot of stuff, it just is part of the routine of other things I'm already hand washing. So I actually have not noticed any difference in like annoyance levels. I'm very happy. I wash this many times a day and reuse it because obviously with the green juice, I can't just like rinse it out. I have to fully wash it to put anything else in it. Alrighty, let's go ahead. Oh, I am also super annoyed because I, my mom gave me a printer last year when we moved because I didn't have one and I was doing other Etsy shop and like Poshmark stuff. I'm always doing Poshmark stuff, but I needed something to print out the shipping labels. And while I have my thermal printer now for shipping labels, I need to print out things like I want to put a little care instruction in the cup where it says like, uh, don't put in dishwasher, don't put in microwave. Um, but my printer now, I've ran diagnostic settings on it nonstop. I've cleaned it. I've cleaned the print head. I've done um, so many alignments because it's an alignment issue and nothing fixes it. And I know in my heart of hearts, Orange Kitty broke it because it didn't have a problem until one day I saw him inside the printer, like the part where you open up and put the ink cartridge in, he was inside of it and just like going to town and he came out and he had ink on him and it was all like jammed and ever since then, it has not printed. It prints like this. It's all messed up where you can't I can't put that inside of a cup you can't read it it's an alignment issue but I think it's a permanent alignment issue so what I need to do is buy a printer I want to get an Epson Eco Tank but they're $199 on sale um, but the print like you could tell on this one I'm already running out of colors I've done so many diagnostics and like reprints um, this ink is so expensive. It's like $30 to put new ink in it. And I have to get new ink like if I'm consistently using the printer like every month, which is a lot of money. And with the Eco Tank, you get a huge bottle of each color. And so it's supposed to last you two years. So that kind of makes up for that like higher price difference, if that makes sense. And I also heard the Eco Tanks good for the 2800 at least. And there's other ones that are good. And there's ones that are more expensive. But the 2800, which is the 199 right now, um, are good for making stickers. And I really want to get into stickers. They have a really fun idea. And I have so many things on my Canva where I can just immediately start making stickers if I had the tools. And I don't have the tools. And unfortunately, with stickers, you have to not only get a printer, you have to get the sticker paper, you have to get like a laminator, you have to get a cutter, <laughs> you could hand cut it. Um, it just doesn't look as professional. So I've looked into getting the Silhouette Portrait 3 or the Silhouette Cameo 4. But right now, Cameo 4 is a little out of budget. Portrait 3, I can use my credit card points on and get for free, but I could do that with a printer. I can't do both with the points. So I think I'm gonna end up getting it. I just need to kind of like do a little more research and make sure I'm getting the best price at the best store because I have a Best Buy right next to me and I can go get the printer right now if I wanted to, but I need to check my <laughs> just finances and make sure I can do that. And then on Amazon, um, they have an option with my bank where I can just use my points without like having to ask my bank for the points in like a credit card form. Um, anyways. I actually tried redeeming my points la like two years ago and the gift card never showed up and I waited months and it just never came and finally my bank was just like all right we'll just give you your points back so that happened <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure someone got that gift card <laughs> okay let's film this video and TikTok and hopefully I get better footage this time
excited. In the mail just came from our cheery corner. She came out with a Clout Coaster Punch Needle Kit. And no, I will not be doing punch needling to sell. <laughs> I see how much time it takes and that's just not in the cards for me, but I wanted to try it. So I figured while I'm like relaxing at night, I can try out a coaster. So she has it. So we're doing the cloud one and I'm just really excited. I think it's such a cool idea for her to do. I think if I like it, I may make myself car coasters because it came with pretty much everything you need. So I could do that. Or I'll just buy them from her. This is what it looks like right inside the package. It's so cute. I love her branding. And little stamps that's made with love. I have her shop favorited on Etsy. So I got a notification that she put them up and I knew cause I watched her videos that she wasn't releasing very many the first round. So I immediately bought it. So if it's not in stock now, like if you want one too, I know she's gonna be releasing more. It just might take a little bit to get some of the supplies, but let's open it. Comes with a little thank you card and then she wrote on it to tag her on Instagram, which is our cheery corner. I don't have, I have Instagram, I don't use it much. I don't have her on Instagram, but I have her on TikTok and YouTube. And then it has the tutorial, so you just follow the link. Oh, I love how she put the QR code on there. So there's a YouTube video um, and then a guide and the potential issues and solutions and other important tips. That is very helpful. I did already buy a hot glue gun because I know um, it was needed and that's like the one thing that's not in here other than it says scissors also are not in here. So I went ahead and bought that already. So it's already here comes with the cloud colors. She has the amount of blue and white with a little extra that you need. Um, oh, I love, she already <laughs> drew it on there. Perfect. And it even comes with obviously the, um, oh my gosh, I use these all the time, stabilizer. I didn't need one because I have them for my embroidery machine, but I don't have a round one. And this is obviously for like hand embroidery needle punching and then this is her favorite uh punch needle she's talked about this it's the mina karen punch needle set this is like on its own 20 dollars. so i think in total i spent 25 with 10 dollars shipping so it was 35 dollars, which is not a bad deal when you think about if you're buying this on your own you're spending around 20 bucks anyways and she does the artwork for you and gives you the stabilizer and all the yarn and like if you think about if you had to buy all of this individually if you had to buy this and doesn't come in like that size you're gonna have to buy like a yard of this fabric you're gonna have to buy two whole things of yarn you're gonna have to buy this you're gonna have to buy the backing the felt um it, it saves you money especially when it's not gonna be like you're not gonna do it all the time, you know? Like if I were gonna run a business with punch needling, um, I'd already have the supplies, but I'm not. <laughs> so that's what it came like. I will update you guys once I make my coaster. And as you saw this morning, I am down one. So <laughs> this is perfect timing. <laughs> all right, what we have to do now is run to the post office to ship our little boo mug. A uh, tumbler, glass, I don't even know what to call it. What do you call those? Is it a tumbler? Is it a glass? Is it a beer can? What is this? I think I have it listed as a tumbler, but I don't know. SEO is not my strong point. I need to do more research on that. Um, and then we're going to run to Best Buy to pick up our printer that we unfortunately need. I did get the Epson EcoTank 2800 because it was their least expensive Eco tank and it will last. I think I already talked about this. It will last a long time. And for sticker quality, I was reading a lot of really good reviews on it. So I can't afford a pro printer, which they were giving a lot of options for like 500 to 600 dollar printers that'd be good. But this was a good budget printer for sticker printing and other things. Someday I want to do sublimation, but like that would involve a whole nother printer. So like let's see where this business goes first.
and my other printer, I think I've shown it to you guys before, it's sitting out there right now. I'm not gonna fully get rid of it because Best Buy has a, a trade-in but uh, for the Epson EcoTanks, but only for the more expensive models. So I think if I wanna do sublimation, maybe I'll get a more expensive model someday in the future. So I'm gonna save that printer so I could trade it in, um, just in case. Now to figure out, I'll probably just put it in the attic because I don't really need it to stay nice. It sucks, it's broken. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Or the basement. I always forget we have a basement. I do laundry down there almost every day, so it's hard to forget it, but I do. You are banned, sir. No printer for you. While I was waiting, I figured I'd make another cup because, like I said, I'm fully out right now. And most of the cups are still drying. I have my cup filled now with a new drink. Okay, I just did a print and the first paper turned out terrible. I don't know what happened, but it just uh, stopped and then started blue and pink and then just didn't finish. But the second and third one came out perfect. So I think this was a pretty good decision. I think we're heading on a walk now. So I'm gonna end the vlog here and then tomorrow I'm gonna do, this is why we're having a rough time right now. Tomorrow I'm gonna do the rest of the cup.